it's asking a lot of experienced teachers. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I gave the keynote address to the annual general meeting for the BC Teacher Federation. Our teachers are working at the moment without a contract. There's been a draconian legislation ordering them back to work and in fact stripping them further of their rights to collectively bargain. Um, one of the things that I talked with those 700 uh, representatives uh, in the BCTF about was the importance of using the context of their jobs to resist. So they were ordered back to work. There was a three-day strike. They have to, our teachers union has to seek permission from the labor relations board to go on strike, which they got. They struck for three days, and then they were essentially ordered back to work simultaneously while they were on strike. Um, they're uh, still without a contract. They're forced into mediation uh, with a mediator who's actually one of the architects of the bill that force them back to work. Um, I talked with them about the importance of being in their workplace, but engaging in resistance in the context of their workplace. So they were stunned at the suggestion that that was a possibility. So one of the things, and Ken mentioned this, the idea of teach-ins, and they were like, that it, this had never occurred to them. They have a good, strong union, not necessarily very progressive in terms of its strategies, but I said, look, you can go to school and you can do what you're supposed to be doing, that is that you can teach, and you can engage kids around issues like what is neoliberalism, how is it that it affects my work as a teacher and your work as a student, you can, uh, they don't, the teachers are engaged in a job action where they're not doing report cards, for example. I said, invite all of the parents to come in, and you can teach them about what it means to assess students. You can also inform them simultaneously about how their own kids are doing. You can get them engaged in a collective kind of way. But they're not very well schooled or prepared to figure out how to do that kind of uh, very strategic, uh, working within the boundaries that are acceptable kind of resistance work. And we need to help them, and I don't actually think, I mean, I pretty much have given up on teacher education. I'm <laughs> much more interested in working with people who are already in the schools because they have uh, the possibility for a sense of agency that new teachers simply don't have. Just, just give them a credential and send them into the school, and then we'll help them figure out how to be good teachers and how to do these various kinds of things. Uh, I'd argue that they have been really well schooled. Yeah.